what up? So today I'm gonna show you how to make a circle mirror using some copper, spray paint, and an old picture. Picture, 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 picture. Thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. So I got this copper coil from Lowe's. I found this picture at a thrift shop. Then I got this like spray on mirror effect and the glass cutter from Amazon. So that's basically all I used. I also have some felt that I put down on the table. That's gonna help when I'm cutting the glass. So first I just took the bat out of the picture frame, undid the little staples, pulled this guy out, and we're gonna save it because we're gonna actually use this later. So cool. With that out, we can take the glass out, and that's what we're gonna be using to make the mirror. I also think we can use this frame, so I broke it up, and we're just gonna use one side of that to, to draw the circle. And to do that, I'm just gonna take a nail, drill it kinda, drill, nail it kinda in the middle, and then with the pencil, just hold it, try to hold it in the same place, and rotate it around, and it kinda worked. It worked well enough. Then I just took some scissors and cut it out. And this will be our template to cut out the mirror. So with the glass cutter, I just scored along the edge and took the handles of the scissors and pushed and broke it. So cool. I, I flipped the glass around because I think if I did it from the backside, that'd actually work. And yeah, it did. It looked like it was working and I guess that was a good test. So I got my spare glass, used a marker to trace around the template, and then I was just gonna score it along that marker line. And then, well, look at those cute fake locks. So I wasn't too concerned about getting like perfectly on the line, because I am gonna frame it, and that will hide all the imperfections. Once it was scored, I put something underneath the glass, and just pushed down, and it broke so easily. So to try it again, I just rotated it around, and then just hit it with the scissors, or the handle of the scissors, rotate it, hit it with the handle of the scissors, and that, that seemed to work pretty good. On the small piece, I was a little more careful because I was scared of breaking it, but yeah, so now we got our nice circle glass. And then on the back side, I just cleaned it off, got it as clean as I could with just some Windex, and then took my spray paint, the mirror effect, and put a nice layer down and let that dry. It was cool to see as it dried that it was already doing the mirror effect, but if you flip around, it looked really good. Except for my layer wasn't very thick, so you could kind of see through it. So I just put it back down and decided to do another layer. Then let that guy dry. And yeah, looks like a, looks like a mirror. Cute. With that done, I actually wanted to try out cutting just like a regular mirror. So I took this mirror, Flipped it over, took out the backing, tried to pry it out, and cool, 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 cool. Seven years, bad luck, who cares, whatever. So with that little piece, we're gonna try it out. And I just took a plate to cut out my circle. And by cut out, I mean trace out. And then took the glass cutter and just scored along the edges there. And put something under it and started hitting it. And uh, yeah, it looked like it was working. So rotate it, hit it, rotate it, hit it. <laughs> oh, is that what, 14 years bad luck? I don't know, we're doing great. So trying it again, I scored just the edge, I flipped it over, just smushed it with the back of the, the scissors and that worked really well. So I wanna try that again on the even smaller piece. So I made a little circle, scored the edges, flipped it over. The skizzers handle, I just pushed along the edges and that worked really well. Any of the small pieces on the edges, I could just grind off. So, time to make that frame with that copper coil. So I just unraveled it along my template, marked where to cut it, used scissors like a maniac to cut it. Yeah, surprised that worked. And then you just need a hard surface. I'm gonna use this little steel thing and then a hammer to smash it down. And just smash it around the entire thing. Tell you all the way around. And then I just was gonna check again, make sure it was lined up and did it another time, smashed it all the way around until it's nice and flat. And then I'm actually just gonna take like the side of the hammer or the back of the hammer to put little like dents in it and grooves. 
So one, I think that's gonna look pretty cool, but also it's gonna hide a lot of my imperfections, hopefully. At least that's the idea. So I did that all the way around and took a couple times, but got it to how I liked it. And to get onto the frame, I just used some of this glue, the E6000. Just put a nice little glob along the outside then smushed it on it and put something heavy on top for it to dry. Or if you have clamps, you can just clamp it down and then go along the edge again and put some more goop, clamp it down, more goop, more clamps. And I clamped it too hard and it cracked, but I thought it was okay until the whole entire thing cracked. So now I'm at what, 21 years of bad luck? Awesome. So I got another piece of glass and scored it. And I found I like just hitting it with my hand like that to break it. I feel like that works a lot better. Should I be wearing gloves? Yeah, probably. Oh, and also I got this idea from with Wendy. I saw her do this mirror on Instagram and I was like, oh, I need to do it. And then the video where she actually cut that mirror was actually super cute. So I'll, I'll put a little link to it. But yeah, so I made another spare mirror in case I broke it. And again, probably should be wearing gloves. How many times did I cut my hands doing this? A lot, a lot, a lot. That's fine, it's cool, who needs hands? And with all those spare mirrors, we're looking good. So the spray paint mirrors that scratches off pretty easy. So you're gonna wanna put a coat of this clear stuff behind it. And with that, we're good to go again. So I put the goop, clamped her on down, let it dry for a couple hours. And then I went and cut off this excess, and smushed her down with some more of that glue and a clamp. Then I'm gonna let that dry again. And with all my extra copper, I thought it'd be cool if I did like a frame around it, I guess. Yeah. So like along the edge right there and it looked really cool. And I had it like perfect. And then off camera, I broke it. So awesome. So instead of like trying to do another mirror, some angel gave me the idea to actually just use the pieces from all the broken stuff. So I was going to cut the tempo that we have into sizes that would work for the pieces of the mirror that are broken. So this small little one, you can go on a small piece. I have a little gap and then this big one go on a big piece. So here's that small one. I just marked her off, took away the template and scored her down the middle. Yeah. With that, got it broken. Then got my bigger piece and the bigger half of that template. I guess it's not a half. It's more like a two thirds. And scored her down. And went and broke that one. Ah, ah, ah. Looked good. So now let's try this. Let's try this again. So with my big piece, I just put my glob of glob of glob. Sure, glob of lube, and smushed it on there. And hopefully this time it works. I let it dry longer than I did the last times. Cause how I ended up breaking those mirrors was I was like trying to smush the frame on there really hard with like my, my hands and with pliers and with the clamps and that ended up breaking the mirror so this time I was more gentle and I wasn't gonna do the side frame I was just gonna do this top layer of both of them and it, although it, like it looks a lot flatter it would have looked a lot cooler with the frame on the outside this is gonna do perfect so with some command strips I hung it up Okay, so that was a nightmare. I broke that so many times. And part of me thinks it's because I was using a really cheap glass cutter. It was like five bucks, but I ended up spending, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, 25 bucks on mirrors and glass. And that's underestimating. That's if like they were thrifted. I went, had to go to the store and buy new ones because I was running out of time. But also the fun thing about running out of time is it made me, made me have to get like experimental. And so instead of a circle mirror, I did like two half mirrors. Also, thank you for giving me that idea. And I didn't really get to show you how I shined it. So I'm gonna show you after, at the end of this video, on my rings, because my rings are really dirty. And I'm stoked because I wanna learn how to do stained glass. And I think I'm gonna use some of the stuff I learned here to do that. And then also I bought a giant <laughs> mirror. I don't know, I wanna find like a really expensive mirror and try to recreate it using like thrifted stuff. So if you guys find any really expensive mirrors that you want me to try to re replicate, Sure, that's a word. Go ahead and like DM me, send me pictures. It'd be cool if it's a circle mirror. Oh yeah, and I am, I'm updating my Patreon. 
So these that used to be Patreon exclusive, they're now on my site. So if you want to grab them, I have a couple left. And also I have some new patches that I'll show again at the end of the video that are going to go on to Patreon. And now past me has something to tell you. So what, this is going to be like your format for, for sponsored videos for no one or what? I, I mean, yeah, maybe I just, to be honest, just like talking to you, you cutie. I mean, yeah, I, I, I like talking to you too. So I guess that's cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. So cool. 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 So anyways, super big thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring the video today. They sent me with like their starter package. So it starts off with this executive handle, which is weighted. That was the first thing I noticed. And then two, of the six bladed cartridges. And also I just realized it has a single blade right here for like fine detail work. And then these three one ounce guys. So you start with your prep scrub, which exfoliates your skin, helps the hair stand up and makes the blade feel so close to your skin they should get a room. That's what they say on there and I love it. Next, you got your shave butter and that's what you use to actually shave I say my face, but really like you could be shaving your legs or whatever you want with this. And they say, test it on interns, not animals. Which I thought was funny too. These guys are funny. I like you guys at Dollar Shave Club, cause you're funny. Um, next and last is the post shave dew, which is kind of like your aftershave, which will, you know, replenish your skin and keep you nice and hydrated. I'm a sucker for good branding and I love their branding. And then it's also nice cause it works well. This was an easy sponsor for me. I've been using Dollar Shave Club for a long time now. You guys can get this starter pack for $5. You just gotta go to www.dollarshaveclub backslash mood. If you like it cool, you can pick a plan that fits your shaving needs to get those razor cartridges refilled. And if not, no worries, you can cancel. Super easy. So yeah, super, 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 I don't know what I just said, but super big thanks to Dollar Shave Club. And yeah, back to you. So uh, the patches are just these guys and I'll put them up on the Patreon. You can snag them. Um, I also updated a couple other of the, the rewards on Patreon, but now let me show you how, how I shined up the frame showing you on my rings. Cool. So I have these dirty, dirty rings and, and we're going to shine them up. You can actually use like those green scotch bright pads or like a magic eraser to do a lot of the work but I have this buffer machine and that wheel right there is basically just like the scotch bright material. And so I do that first time, it looks pretty good. And I take it over here to the buffer side, I shine it up and it gets like this mirror finish. So it looks real good. And with it all done, you can see what they look before and after. Nice. So here are those patches again. You can snag them from the Patreon if you guys want them. And yeah, other than that, be sure to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe? I don't even know if liking does anything. This is true. But subscribing's cool. And hitting the bell notifications even cooler. So yeah, cool. I'll have a new video out pretty soon.